Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make this, um, I don't know really what to call it. It's a, it's a bell jar that I've made out of a two liter bottle and I've made a little uh, Christmas scenery inside of this one and it's all hot glued together so it's not going to come out. Um, but I'm not showing you how to make all the decorations inside. You can use whatever you want for that. Um, for the bottle, any two liter bottle is fine, but you want one that's that's flat. You don't want a whole lot of bumps and everything. These one, this one has ridges. It's not a big deal though. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, so what I'm going to do first is remove this collar. And I'm going to leave the, um, the cap on because I have to saw this part off. Can you see what I'm talking about right here? This is, ooh, hang on. So this is the part we're going to cut right here. And I have this handy dandy little hand saw that works perfectly. And you want to try not to dent this or bend this part because that's the part that you're going to be seeing. Okay? So I just like to hold it on the side of the table and go for it. Well, actually, I'm going to have uh, my helper hold it here and I'll saw. Okay? Okay, so I've sawed off the cap and you'll see you have a nice little lip here. It doesn't have to be flat or even. It just needs to be gone because when we put on our little top finial piece, you won't see it. And as you can see here, you can't tell that it's not perfectly straight or flat or nice and even. It's kind of covered. It's nicely. Alright, so I sawed a little piece right here so that I could get into it and cut into it to make it the right size. And I'm going to cut it about half. So right here, that's where I'm going to cut it to. And then I'm going to wash this out, soap and water. Um, if there's any sticky residue left from the label, um, let's see, I, I use uh, olive oil. Um, if that doesn't work, you can try using uh, orange or lemon peel. The uh, oils from the lemon help it come off rather nicely. Just be careful that you're not uh, denting this or scratching it, okay? And I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so uh, once you're done cutting everything and washing it and drying it, this is what you're left with. Um, also, for the top part of your bell jar, you need a little cap. I'm using a Christmas ornament, a plastic one, and I've just um, sawed off the top, just as we did for the, the bottle. And I'm going to hot glue that on top so that... We have our little decoration, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Now I'm just going to set this aside and go to my inner part. Um, you want to trace a circle onto um, a scrap piece of cardboard, cut that out. And now I also have um, craft foam that has glitter on it and it has an adhesive backing. So I'm going to put that on here so that the inside of my bell jar has a little snowy scene. Um, and that is pretty easy to do. I think this would look really cute to do with, um, a Halloween theme or a, uh, Easter theme. It's a little bit bigger. I want it to be that way so that when I glue my beads or whatever I put on this one onto the bottom. It has something to stick to because this is plastic. It will melt. Um, there's a spot back here that melted a little bit but you can't really see it now. But anyway, you want to be careful with your glue gun that you're not making contact with the bottle because it's gonna melt and then you've done all of that work for nothing. So now I've got my base prepared. And I have a couple little trees and a little reindeer that I'm going to set up inside of here and hot glue them before I put my lid on top. So I'm going to put this together and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is what my inside of my, my decoration is going to be. I have my, my little reindeer, I have my little snowman, and two trees. Um, 
I've not shown you how to make these, I'm aware. Um, if you want to know how to make the snowman the trees, the little um, reindeer, give me a comment, let me know, and I will make a tutorial for you. Um, so now I'm going to put this on top, and that's how it's going to be. Um, first I'm going to cut, cap it off with our uh, finial, and then we're good, um, other than our little embellishments. So I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so I have attached the top finial and uh, centered it pretty well. So see how what I meant by it doesn't matter if this is flat or not because the hot glue is going to bridge the gap between the finial and whatever surface you have. Um, but then if you want to if it's really bothering you, you can always clean it up by putting a little decoration on there, like I've done with this one. Um, but that's up to you. So now I'm just going to attach this down to the bottom with a couple little drops of hot glue. And I really don't want to, to get my hot glue gun next to the plastic. Remember I said it's going to melt it. So it's it's not like this needs to be waterproof. It's not going anywhere. It's just sitting on a mantle and being a decoration. So just hold that for a second so that it dries. And then we can embellish it to cover up our seam. And it's very pretty. And that's your little scene. And it comes out and it looks very pretty. And like I said, you can do this for any holiday. Um, or just do one that goes with the decor of your room and, and leave it up. I think they're a lot of fun and they're very inexpensive. And uh, we're using a lot of materials that we otherwise would have thrown out. So this is the kind of craft that I like. And Hi, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.